Welcome to Climate Central's Coastal Risk Screening Tool. This tutorial will walk you through the basics of using this tool to learn about sea level rise and coastal flood risk around the world. To start, check out the title at the top of the left-hand toolbar. This title provides you with a short summary of what the map is currently depicting. Maps show sea level rise and coastal flood risk by year, water level, and more. To switch between maps, select the Choose Map button on the top left corner of the map. You will see a list of maps to choose from, including a map of risk by year. We will be using this map as our example for this demonstration. This map allows you to customize many of its inputs so that you can view sea level rise and coastal flood risk projections across time for multiple pollution and flood level scenarios. Use the search bar to find a location of interest to you. This map is powered by Google Earth Engine, so any place you can find on Google Maps, you can see on this map too. Pan and zoom as with any Google Map. The main setting of this map is year. Use the year slider in the left side panel to see what land is projected to be at risk from sea level rise combined with coastal flooding by decadal year from 2030 to 2100. To change other map settings, click the Change Other Settings button to open the settings toolbox. The first slider is Projection Type. This allows you to toggle between seeing land that is projected to be underwater from just sea level rise or sea level rise plus common floods of different depths. It offers annual flood, moderate flood, and major flood levels. An annual flood level, like the name suggests, is a flood level expected to occur once a year. A moderate flood is higher than an annual flood and has a 10% chance of happening in a given year. A major flood is even higher and has a 1% annual chance. The next slider is Pollution Scenario, which allows you to look at how different levels of carbon pollution will affect sea level rise. There are three scenarios available, deep and rapid cuts, moderate cuts, and unchecked pollution. Currently, our emissions most closely match the unchecked pollution scenario. Click the I button to learn more about each of the scenarios. The final slider is Luck. Luck refers to the fact that the sea level rise models provide a range of possible outcomes. Good luck just means you are looking at the low end of the possible sea level rise range. Medium luck means looking at the middle of the range and bad luck is the high end. You also are able to choose whether you want to see areas that are below a flood or sea level but potentially protected by coastal defenses, like levees, or natural ridges marked as at risk or not. By default, the map does not show potentially protected areas as at risk. Coastal defenses are only incorporated in the United States due to a lack of available data elsewhere. Finally, you can choose a sea level rise model. Click the I button for detailed information about each of the models. Once you have configured all the settings you want, you can download or share the map using the buttons in the upper right, next to the search bar. The Share button allows you to share the map you are currently looking at by email or on Facebook or Twitter. The Download button allows you to download a high-resolution image of the map you're currently viewing or, for GIS professionals, request access to the underlying elevation dataset for your own analyses. If you want to learn more about the technical details and methodology behind this map, click the Details and Limitations button in the middle of the left side panel. This concludes our tutorial. For more information, contact us using the Contact Us button at the bottom of the page.